Hey, good morning, everybody. I wanna show you literally the easiest dinner that I ever make. I make this dinner on days when I know that it's gonna be crazy at, in the afternoons and I don't have a lot of time and kind of those nights where everyone has to serve themselves. Uh, this is just so simple and the best thing about this is you can serve this like 20 different ways. So all you need are chicken breast, frozen chicken breasts. I buy the giant pack from Costco, as you can see. You need a crock pot, which I think most of y'all probably have. And you need salsa, literally, that's all you need. So, oh, and you need non, I like to use non-stick spray. You don't have to use non-stick spray, but I do. So all you do, I've already done this. I actually started doing this and I was like, this is a great video for you guys. Cause if you need like a really fast meal, not fast takes all day, but if you need something that comes together quickly and I love it because you can make it in the morning. My mornings are actually pretty calm. So, uh, and my afternoons are crazy. So all you do is spray, uh, hey Grace, all you do is spray your crock pot with the non-stick and then you just take those chicken breasts uh, total, these are fr rock hard frozen. Um, the other thing is I forgot, I was gonna uh, thaw ground beef and I totally forgot to do that yesterday. So now I'm on to plan B and then these two are actually frozen together. So I'm using four chicken breasts. This will actually give me leftovers and my bag is empty. Just dumped everything in that crock pot. Let me see if I can get a better angle for the crock pot. So as you can see there, just put everything in the crock pot and then all I do is just pour the salsa on top of it. And I'm actually gonna use, since I did four chicken breasts, it's actually taking up a good amount of space. Um, I'm actually gonna put this all in here, I think. Um, and then I'm just gonna add, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna add a little bit of water just because my chicken breasts are really big and they're taking up a lot of, of the uh, crock pot. I'm gonna add a little water to the top. I'm put my lid on. So I always, with meat in the crock pot, I start out on high for like the first hour and then I move it to low. Uh, I don't really have reason for that, I just do it that way. Um, and there you go, that's it. I put it off and what time is it right now? It is 8.20 here. So that means the uh, it'll be ready before five o'clock tonight. And with this, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna get some soft flour tortillas, I'm going to do shredded cheese, shredded lettuce, sour cream, probably some beans, and the kids are going to make their own tacos. This will probably give me a little bit of leftovers, and then I'll probably make some either chicken enchiladas or chicken burritos the next day. So that's it. I don't know when, I don't know how long I've been live, but that's dinner right there because the other stuff's already done. It's already in my freeze fridge, um, the lettuce, cheese, and all you need to do is heat up those tortillas. So really in like five minutes, guys, you can have dinner, and this tastes so good. Um... I use the Costco salsa, the Kirkland brand. You can use whatever you want. You can make your own salsa. You can add, if you don't have salsa, you can add a can of like Rotel tomatoes and a little chicken broth uh, but, and just some taco seasoning. You just, it doesn't need to be complicated. Uh, and that's all you do and there's your dinner. So if you don't want to make chicken tacos, you, hey Carla, you can do, uh, you, you could do this on like chick on top of salad with like some crunched up Fritos or tortilla shells. You can, what, another thing you can do with this is make chicken nachos. Uh, so, so simple, so easy. You have dinner ready to go. And you know, I still have a kid over here eating breakfast. So there you go. After your chicken's cooked for eight hours, you're gonna wanna take a fork and tongs or two forks and shred that chicken while it's sitting in the crock pot. I like to let my chicken sit shredded in the crock pot for another 30 minutes or so so they absorb all the juices from the cooking and the salsa. And then you can serve it in the bowl or you know what? You can serve it directly in the crock pot so you don't use another dish. We like to use this shredded chicken recipe with tacos, burritos, enchiladas, nachos, Mexican chicken salad, and you can get all the details and all the ingredients we serve with it at thehappyhousewife.com.